Hey guys, so I'm back with another video today and today it is a what's new at the drugstore haul. I have got so much stuff to show you and I'm so excited about everything that I got. So I haven't been drugstore makeup shopping in actually forever. Um, it's been so long and there have been so many things that have come out in the last month. It's incredible the amount of BB creams and foundations and glossy sticks and lip stains and it's literally amazing. I can't even believe all this stuff. So it was like Christmas all over again. I went to the drugstore and they were having tons of sales. Like everything I got from Wet n Wild, every single product I got a dollar off of. Um, it's just crazy. They're having a lot of sales and it's just really, really good stuff. I'm super psyched. So I went to a lot of different places because I was looking for a lot of things. So I went to CVS, I went to Walgreens, I went to Ulta, um, etc. So we will start with, uh, I don't know what bag. Let's pick a bag. CVS, why not? Okay. So from here, oh yeah, I got some Maybelline stuff from here. At CVS they were doing like if you buy $15 worth of Maybelline products you get $5 um, in extra bucks. And so um, I got, I wanted to get, try the 24 hour metal shadows because they have the color tattoo um, regular eyeshadows that I really like and they came out with metals. So I got two colors. The first one is called, what is this called? Gold Rush, and it's this gold color. And the second one is called, um, what the heck is this called? Electric Blue. And I'll put swatches up here for you guys so you can see them a little bit closer. You get the $15, and because I actually need a new mascara, my YSL Shocking just ran out. I'm trying the new Maybelline Rocket, and I got very black. Looks like this. The brush is kind of cool. Um, you'll be able to see everything up close um, on the side. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to try this. It says clump free volume eight times the volume. So with a rocket brush. Cool. All right. So I got those things. And then I saw um, from L'Oreal, they have these new, what are they called? Um, it doesn't even have the name on here. How sad. Doesn't even have the name on here. Okay. Well, I can tell you what colors I got, but they look like these are, they're just the long wearing lip stain ish things, you know? And so this color is an eternally nude and it's just a nude. And then the second one I got was endless red. If I'm getting new lip things, I'm always getting a red at least to try it. Um, so yeah, really excited about both of those big lip stain fan. I love them. It makes it really easy cause you don't have to touch it up a lot and um, really good, I just love them. So, let's move on to Walgreens. I was so excited to go to Walgreens because I needed to get Wet n Wild stuff, and this is the only place in my area that sells Wet n Wild. So, I got some stuff from the Fergie collection. I'll start with that. I got the new Take On The Day eyeshadow primer. I actually kinda needed a new eyeshadow primer, and um, I got a dollar off this, and what does it say? I think, I mean, it's just nude, I believe. Prep and prime lasts all day, never creases. So I'm gonna check that out. Maybe I'll do a review for you guys on that and see how it works out for me. Then from the Fergie collection, I got two lipsticks. Oh, sorry, I got three, woo! Ooh, even more exciting. Um, so they have a straight up black lipstick and it was just too good, I had to get it. So I got the black lipstick and then I got, and it's called Pagan Angel. And then I got a second one, which is more of a fuchsia color, and it, oh, haha, <laughs> that's funny. It's called Fuchsianista, and it is this pretty kind of fuchsia-like color. And then the last one I got was a pretty Cabernet kind of deep purple, almost like Rebel from MAC, and it is called Ferguson Crest Cabernet. There we go. Um, it looks like that. And so I got those from the Fergie collection. And then the other things I got from Wet n Wild were not part of the Fergie collection, but still um, really, really amazing. So I got four of their new Wet n Wild Mega Last um, liquid lip colors. There we go. And so I got four of them. They look like this. I'll walk through the colors for you guys. This one is crazy, totally like Nicki Minaj or something. Reminds me of Nicki Minaj. Um, let's see click on my hyper pink. That's this one. And then this one is a, it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. It's a deep red, but it has a shimmer and it is called cherry on top. 
And then this one's my favorite. It's an amazing, like, bright pink. And it's called Back to the Fuchsia. That's kind of a cute name. I like that. And then the I got the bright red that they had, and it's called Red My Mind. Those are all really cute names. So this is what they look like. Really pretty colors. They did a good job, and I'm super impressed with these. I think I'm going to end up doing a, I'm going to do a review for you guys on these specifically. Um, and I'm really excited because I have a lot of thoughts on these. So... The next thing and the last thing I got from Wet n Wild is the Coverall Press Powder. Super bummed because I was looking for the Coverall Foundation, but they don't have it. And so I'm going to wait for that to come back in stock, but I wanted to go ahead and get this. And I got medium. And you can see that's probably a really good match for me. The light looked really light, and I just, I, I don't know, I never wear medium. Generally, I'm, I'm more of like a light medium, but um, it looked, you know, it didn't look too dark. And so I, I got the medium because the light was just really, really light. Okay, and then from Walgreens, I got two other things because they did not have these at Ulta. And these are the, they're new from Maybelline, and they're Color Sensational. They're the new Vivids, and I love the packaging. It's that really pretty kind of bright fluorescent -y red pink. And the first color that I got is On Fire Red. I told you if I'm buying lipsticks, I'm getting a red. And so that's what that looks like. And then the second one that I got is called Fuchsia Flash. You can see there's a theme here, red and fuchsia apparently. That's what I was kind of going for. Um, so I got those and that is all that I got from Walgreens. All that I got from Walgreens. I feel like I bought so much stuff. Move on to Ulta, which I'm really excited. This is probably my favorite bag. I gotta save my extra bucks. I got $10 in extra bucks from CVS from that makeup I bought. You gotta look for those sales. They've got really good deals. You just gotta find them. Okay. So the main reason why I wanted to go to um, Ulta is to get the new Revlon foundation, which is the Nearly Naked. I know you guys have seen this everywhere, but I'm super excited about it. So far, the reviews have looked amazing, and um, I cannot wait to try it. And so the shade I got was 150 or Nude. Um, might be a little bit dark, but it looked the most like my undertones and my skin tone, and I'm always a little bit fake tanned anyway. So I got the Nude in that, and then the light... The 020 uh, Light Pale Powder. And this is the pressed powder that goes with the foundation. I am so excited to try this. I think I might just have to do a first impressions video, which I never do, but um, I cannot wait to put this on my skin. It's going to be awesome. Well, I hope it's going to be awesome at least. Okay, and then there were just so many things out. So from the Emily Awards, if you guys watch Emily Noel 83, I'm going to link her below because she's freaking awesome. I love her to death. But she um, does the Emily Awards, and for her favorite drugstore primer, she really likes the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro, and I've actually never tried this. Um, and I needed another face primer. I really like my pop. It's my favorite pop magnet beauty primer. It's really great. But I thought I would give this a go because the pop one's the only one that I'm using at the moment, so I could try this out. So I'm really excited to see how that works out for me. Then I also got this new concealer from CoverGirl. So my favorite drugstore concealer has always been the Revlon Photo Ready. And, um, but they came out with this, and this was also in the Emily Awards, and so I really trust her. She's got, she does great reviews of products, and um, so if she really likes this, it must be pretty good. And it's the new CoverGirl and Olay Concealer Balm. And the shade that I got is Light 330, and I think it's going to match me pretty well, so I'm pretty excited about that. And um, she said this replaced the Revlon Photo Ready for her, so she likes that better. So, of course, I have to try it then. Two other things from Rimmel. I got their new Scandalize. Um, they have these new pencils that remind me, you know, of the next Jumbo pencils. Um, but a lot of companies are coming out with these eyeshadow sticks, but I love them because they're super fast and easy and they work as great bases so you can always layer colors on top to make them more vibrant and stand out more and just make the color last a little bit longer. And so I got two colors. The first one I got, oh, first of all, they're 24 hour and they're waterproof, which is really cool. And I got Bad Girl Bronze, which is this kind of, I think I can open it. Um, which is like this bronzy color right here. And then I also got, what's this called? Witness White. And this is kind of like a pearly white, I believe. It's not just like a straight up white. But you're, and you're going to see swatches right there. Okay, just a couple more things. I did not want to try out all of the different lip stain sticks. Um, like Neutrogena has them, Almay has them, I think. CoverGirl has them. Everybody's got the, Revlon has them, Maybelline has them, the pencils, the jumbo pencils. But CoverGirl did come out with... Um, 
one that I did want to try. I actually don't own a red glossy pencil, so I'm really excited to try this out and see how it goes. Um, it's number 250, and let's see if there's anything else. Sheer Color Soft Shine. So we'll see how that goes. And then I did get two of the new Maybelline Color Whispers, which are their sheer, um, let's see if it has a description, I don't believe it does. No, they're just sheer, more like a lip, stick lip balm type thing. Um, and I got this really pretty color, it's called Faint for Fuchsia, which is just this really gorgeous pinky fuchsia color. And then I also got a kind of darker color called Berry, Berry Ready. And I love that. So I'm super excited to try both of those. They look really pretty. They're, they are sheer, um, but I still, I like that. That's, that was okay with me. I have a lot of like long lasting lip stains. So um, I was still really excited that Maybelline came out with these and um, they look really neat. So I'm excited to try those out. And then the last thing that I got is something that I've been debating about getting for a really long time. I know that Dolce Candy loves it. I believe Miss Jen Fabulous loves it. A lot of people use this and really like it. And so I, um, and I'm always looking for a quick fix because for self tan, I like, um, I love Saint Tropez and Zen Tan really, really, really good, but they la you have to kind of wash them off after four hours. So this is a quick fix airbrush legs. I actually just, for New Year's, I kind of wish that I would have bought this or had this um, because I fake tanned, but I did it kind of late and it just didn't, it didn't take as well and it didn't, it doesn't give you that instant kind of look. So I'm really excited for this. The color that I got is medium glow and I think I might do a review on this for you guys too, at least a before and after and talk to you a little bit more about it because I have never tried it. It's supposed to be water resistant. We'll see how that works out. And that is what's new from the drugstore, guys. So I didn't get everything. I know CoverGirl has a new foundation and All May does, um, but I can't try everything out, but I did pick my favorites and I'm really excited to test them out. I hope you guys liked what I got. And if you have any specific requests or want me to do specific reviews on anything, let me know in the comments below or shoot me an email at colorsweatbeauty at gmail.com. And um, go follow me, tweet me on Twitter. I'm always on there and talking to everybody and chatting it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Have a fabulous day, and I will see you all next time. Bye.